Hello YouTube, today I'm going to show you how to make your own admin console, your own admin panel. Now, if you ever experience problems on your PC, you'll know that having to move around to say, I don't know, like, uh, um, services, yes, that's it, that's it, I forgot what it was there. If you need to go to the services and restart a service, then, you know, simple enough, you just go in there, you restart whatever you, when it opens. You just restart whatever you need to restart, and then you just get on with it. I don't know why that's taking so long to Esma. But then if you need to go somewhere else, like disk management, and sort something out uh, with a partial on your disk, then you have to open up another, uh, and something else, and if you need to get to the MS config, you have to type that and all the rest of it. Easy way to get them all together is use something called the Microsoft Console MS. M MS? No, no, sorry, I beg your pardon. My, my, uh, Microsoft Management Console, yes, that's what it is. Use that instead. That should come up. I don't know why it's. There we go. So click yes if that's coming up if you're following this along as you watch it. Then this will come up. Now, you're going to add things to this side for you to use, such things like disk management and services and whatnot. Now this panel here doesn't serve much as much of a um, use, so you can just get rid of it with this button up here. Just get rid of it; it's better without it. Then you're gonna go file and add and remove snap lens, right? And from here you can add anyone you want. Now uh, the ones that you probably use that are probably the best to use in here is computer management. When this comes up, you are using a local computer. You can add another computer that you have on your network. Sorry, to see uh, what they have. So if I wanted to see what my computer downstairs would do, I go on your computer and I would browse my network. But I'm not going to do that. No local computer for this computer. Finish. It's going to pull over here in a minute. If that comes up, don't worry about it. Uh, device manager. Probably use that as well. This management. Important. Um, print management is probably a good one to have. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. You don't need services in there because that's in, I believe, computer management, I, I think. Then we'll go task schedule, add. Okay. Okay, so those them those are the probably ones that you'll use. You can add them all if you feel that you must. <coughs> Excuse me, but I'm not gonna. And then there you go. Now you can just look through, see what each of them have. Yeah. See that has a task schedule, so I, I, you know you didn't have to put there. It's just there. Um, services is there. Now, what we need to do after that is we need. To go, yeah, you can change the way it, like it looks and stuff. You can have a, like a, a good little like play around with this if you want. There's something else that we need to do. Can't remember what it is. But anyway, I forgot now, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, we're gonna save this somewhere. I'll save it on my desktop. We. Save it wherever you want. I'm gonna call this admin panel. Oh. Admin panel. Just save it. I'm just gonna check out um, uh, if I've got anything. Options. Yeah, you can change the icon if you want. You just move that to a different uh, <coughs> excuse me, path. Uh, that includes icons. If you want to get more icons, if you just right click on your desktop. Once it's ready, and then go uh, new folder. Then if you right click it, I've got a huge context menu. I'll go to properties, then go to uh, customize, and go change icon. If you copy this, copy, you close that. And you want to change the icon there. Paste. Press OK and then you can browse through them ones as well. You can use any um, ICO file. 
I can't fire. There are programs out there that change normal pictures in the icon the uh, uh, icon images as well. So you can have a bit of play around with that. This cleanup is always there, I'll show you that when I open it. Uh, and we're gonna wanna change this to user mode full access. Alright. <coughs> Excuse me. Click apply, click OK. File save. Uh, you can close this now. Yes. You go over here. We'll click it. What's this? Click yes. Right, plus four. That was just my AVG, don't worry about it. And then there you go. Hmm. There you have it, there it is. And you just opened it up and you use it. As, as much as you must. Yes, yeah, so the, the if you go to file options, you can do a disk cleanup from here. These files, yeah, yeah, blah blah blah. If you delete them, you can't get back them. Blah, blah. Okay, that's just a cool little thing there. Go a new window. People don't see where this is. That's in there. So if you wanted, if you wanted, just perhaps have, um, for example. Yeah, like disk management. If one of the window, and then have a performance on another window, then you would be able to do that. Very unrelated, but you can do that if you want. And there you have it. That's how to make your own admin panel. I mean, you can play around with it. You can customize it, make it your own. Oh. Don't worry about that. Um, and that's it. I think this is my um my my fourth my fourth video on YouTube now. Uh, so please rate, comment, no, not rate, like now. I'm one of the good old days of rating. Anyway, like like my video if you like my video. Subscribe if you if you like my videos, and uh, I'll see you all later. Bye for now.